this is the fourth step in our series, Creating Dailies in DaVinci Resolve for Avid Media Composer. In steps one, two, and three, I went through the process of bringing camera footage into Resolve, organizing it, and then exporting it for Avid Media Composer. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up Avid, I'm gonna take the files that we created using Resolve, and I'm gonna get my project organized. So here we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and create a new project in Avid Media Composer that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna make sure that I created at the correct frame rate and raster, so it's gonna be HD 1080p 23976. It's gonna be in the Rec 709 color space, and I'm gonna call it uh, Example Dailies. And we're gonna click OK. Now let's open it up. Okay, so here's my basic window in Avid Media Composer. It's given me a starter bin, um, but the project is currently empty. So as you'll recall from having looked at my previous videos, um, we created MXF files for Avid, and we created ALE files, which are Avid Log Exchange files, which we're gonna use to populate our bins with all of our metadata. So all I have to do to bring in the ALE files is I just have to navigate to them day one card one dot ALE. So all I have to do is literally just drag it into the bin and let go. And now as you can see, it's populated my bin with a whole bunch of clips and metadata. So it has all of the clip names, the creation date, the duration, it'll have the time code, any kind of data that you want and if you're familiar at all with Avid, you know that you can manage all of these different metadata columns to be able to see whatever metadata you want. I have some presets for dailies, um, which I've created so I can see the information that I need when I'm keeping my dailies organized. So because this was day one card one, as you can see, my bin is just called, still called example dailies bin. So we definitely want to rename our bin uh, to go with the name of our card because that way we're going to start being able to keep track of everything. So we have the name. The tape column is all of the information that was in the real column in Resolve. So that's great. So we now know that um, we have really rock solid real metadata for all of our clips. Now, one of the things that will happen here is because what you can see here from this offline column is that all of these clips are actually offline. All we're seeing here is metadata. These clips aren't pointing to any media files. So what we have to do is we have to take the MXF files that we created, the media files that we created, and put them in a place that Avid can see them. So I had previously created the subfolders for all of my MXF files that I made using Resolve. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move these into my Avid Media Files folder. So I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna to go to the drive where I keep my Avid Media, Avid Media Files, MXF, and I have a bunch of MXF numbered folders here. I'm just gonna create a new folder. Um, let's see, my highest one is 70, so I'll just call this, well, just for fun, we'll just call this 80. So this will be folder 80, and I'm just gonna paste those items into that folder. And as soon as those items get put in that folder, Avid is gonna be able to look at them and we're gonna be able to link them back to the metadata that we have in our bin. Okay, so now all those files are copied. So I'm just gonna pop back to Avid. It's gonna automatically index that folder for me, but it still doesn't actually know that the files in that folder match exactly to the files in this bin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all and we're just gonna do an Avid relink. So we're gonna right click, we're gonna click relink. You can say all available drives. I know what drive they're on, so I'm gonna pick the drive that I put them on. Um, I'm gonna uncheck this box, relink only to media from the current project, because actually the media that we created, we created in a Resolve project called you know, Daily's Example. So if we leave this checked off, Avid's not gonna find it because we created it using a different project. So I'm gonna uncheck that. I'm also gonna make it as easy as possible for Avid to find it. So I'm not gonna have it match case when comparing the source names. I figure it can be uppercase, it can be lowercase, it doesn't really matter. Then I'm also gonna tell it can relink to any video format. Now I'm, I know that the video format is the format of the current project, but it just, if you're unsure, you can just click any video format, and then you want it to relink whatever it can find, video, audio, data, and you can even have it make sure it relinks across frame rates just in case. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna click OK. And what'll happen here is this stuff right now is all offline, and in a second, as soon as it relinks, 
it will be online. So now the only thing that it sees is it says, oh, your audio is offline, but we don't have any audio. So I'm not really worried about the fact that the audio is offline. It's empty audio. So now what we have is it'll now show us what drive it's on, what drive the media is on. And it also has corrected. It previously called our, said that our video format was DNX HD 115, just because it didn't really know. Now it's actually linked to the media and it can say, no, it's DNX 36. And that's what we created in our dailies. So I can go to any of these clips. I can open them up. And I can see, oh, this is the media that I created in Resolve. And as you can see, it also has the burn in that I created in Resolve. And it has all of the same file names. And I can use this um, to go through the next step in the process, which will be syncing this with our audio that was recorded double system by a sound recordist on the day. So now I'm just going to go through the process of importing the ALE files for the other two cards from day one. and relinking those to the Avid Media files. And in the next video, we're gonna go through the process of importing all of the audio files from this shoot and syncing them to the video files using Avid Media Composer.